So I've got a little bit of butter in the pan. And uh, I'm not typically running any kind of weird cooking show or anything. But my neighbor gave me a goose egg, so I thought I'd share this with you. I always like seeing something that's not the norm. So uh, here's a goose egg, and I'm going to cook it up. I don't have any special recipe. This is just going to be... I'm not sure if I'm going to scramble or uh, fry it yet. It depends on how big it is. I think I'll I think I'll try and fry it though. That'd be kind of fun to just taste the yolk and the, just to see what it really tastes like instead of just scrambling. So here we go, folks. It's a really hard shell compared to what I'm used to. I hold this with my chin. Almost dropped my phone. I'm trying, folks. I'm trying to hold this with my... There we go. Some bad video today. Yeah, that's a good size egg. Almost fills the whole pan. It's a thicker yolk, and the shell is really hard. I wasn't anticipating that. And so, uh... Let's see here. Wasn't anticipating that at all. So uh, that's why I didn't crack it very well. Now I got a hand free again. Let's see what we got here. So I should have done scrambled. But it's okay. I'm going to still try fried. I want to taste it. I've got the heat on just medium low about. And I put like a, a tablespoon of butter in there. I should have swished it around a little bit, but it's okay. It's going to take a little longer to cook because it's so thick. That's one egg, folks. <laughs> I think I'm going to get some geese. I mean, if I get one of these, that's pretty cool. I don't know how often geese lay eggs, but I'll ask uh, my good neighbor, Teresa. She lives only a couple minutes away. And uh, her and her husband, Jim, have a little urban farm. They've got a donkey, chickens, goats. and uh, But they've been around and have wisdom beyond their years. So they've been around Georgia for a while. So they know the plants really well. They know how to can all types of vegetables and fruits and there are kind of people so I'm just gonna finish this up here just flipped it over what you'll realize is anytime you're cooking chicken eggs or anything that's that's uh, non store bought non production oriented non volume oriented you you get this these nice really dark yolks and they really do have a more rich taste so I'm anticipating that with these geese too. These geese live on a pond over there and they have lots of bass and bluegill in the pond but they uh, they obviously eat from the pond the algae and so forth and then they they pick at the they pick about about the land as well so that looks good to me One goose egg coming up. One fried goose egg coming up right there. That's a breakfast for two, just about. Well, for me, Warren. And, uh, we'll try it out over here. What's cool is I got a little, I got some birds nesting right now. They're up here. I was doing a time lapse, that's why you see this tripod, but there's some birds nesting right up in that little cup of the of the molding. And it's just a perfect nest for them. It's already practically built. They just need to make it homey for them. So you don't need to see me. Okay. It's different than a chicken egg. 
Not a whole lot. It's got a slightly different taste. If I, if no one told me, I may not notice that it was a goose egg. I would, I would notice a, a difference though. I would, I would notice a difference. There's enough difference in taste that I would think something was slightly off if I thought it was a chicken egg. But it tastes, tastes good. I would, I would say it's maybe a less, less salty. If eggs are salt, you know what I mean? It's less rich. Good though. I'm going to be a fan of goose eggs. So, over and out everybody.